Hey y'all, Shifter here. Um, happy holidays. I know I haven't been uploading in a while, and that's all my fault. I've been more streaming lately, but honestly, I'm kind of fumbling on that too. So this is going to be going up on YouTube as well as a uh, little series of ranking shit. So this is not going to be edited. So yeah, today I'm going to be doing ranking the Life is Strange games. So um, I'm not going to do uh, Don't Nods Tell Me Why. Tell me why I ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why I got too many games. Tell me why I got too many games on my plate. So, um, rules for this list. I am counting DLCs because there's only two DLCs. And I want to make sure that I hit every single one of them in a quick manner. So, let's get on with the list. So, number six. Life is Strange 2. I didn't really care for it. Felt like it kind of too preachy. Uh, I didn't really enjoy the characters. It was a great idea in theory, but not on paper. I thought Life is Strange 2, I thought we were going to be focusing on the aftermath of Arcadia Bay. But no, which is all right, I guess. I, I understand what they're trying to do. But um, I just didn't really care for Life is Strange 2, honestly. But... um. I thought we were going to focus on like a side character like David Madsen, uh, Steph Grinch from Life is Strange Before the Storm, the side one of the side characters, or Mikey, another side character. I thought we were going to be focusing on like a side character, you know, kind of like the aftermath of it. So that's my, um, that's my um, opinion on number six, so on Life is Strange season three. So next one, Life is Strange. Uh, Adventures of Captain Spirit. Honestly, I, I like Captain Spirit a lot more than Life is Strange 2 in the whole because it's like 30 minutes long. And sometimes shorter is better, but sometimes longer is better. So it all depends. It's a balancing act. So also that is a small little side content. It's like a filler. Like see if it really works before, you know, Life is Strange 2 came out. So next game. Okay, I'm going to put Life is Strange Life is Strange 1 and Before the Storm is going to fall and 4 and 3. Because they can go either or. Um, I like Life is Strange 1 for certain reasons. I like Life is Strange Before the Storm for certain reasons. I like how we actually get to see Chloe's perspective on, you know, the events before the storm. But I also wish we had another few episodes of Max's life before the storm. So, that's my entire nitpick with that one. I love Life is Strange 1. I, is it a little cheesy? Yeah, but that's the reason why I love it. So next... Alright, so number two is going to be Life is Strange True Colors. I love Life is Strange True Colors focusing on Alex Chen. That's her last name. Mrs. Chen was a great character with her brother, Gabriel? Yeah, her brother's name is Gabriel Chan. Or Chen. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the last names. Because it's been a while since I last played that game. Yes, it ranks that highly, but it's been such a long time since I last played the game. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion on that. I love I love the uh, art style, love the animation, I love the story, and I love how we got to see another side character. Number one, Life is Strange, True Color, Wavelength. I love that DLC where we're focusing on Alex Grinch. I, Grinch? Grinch? I can't, I don't know how you pronounce her last name. I don't know how you pronounce her last name because um, it's kind of, for me it's kind of hard to pronounce because I don't want to be you know mistreating her last mispronouncing her last name. Also, that cool fact I actually do watch uh, the voice actress that played um, Steph's um, Twitch account, and I do watch her from time to time. Her name her name is Katie Bent. You can find her on Twitch, and she's one hell of a voice actress. Give her a look. She's really good. That's the reason why I like her character because she's actually a really cool person on her stream. And another reason why, if it is, we actually get to see what she went through after the storm. Like, she has PTSD. She has, um, she's dealing with the emotional scars of the entire water spout or hurricane. So that's the reason why I like Life is Strange Wavelength. We actually get to see her. In Colorado for like a entire year before Alex Chan, I mean Alex Chin showed up to uh, Colorado.
So that's my list for Life is Strange, the game series. So next time I will be playing uh, Life is Strange. Not not Life is Strange. Uh, don't not tell me why. So until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace and rock on. And make sure y'all give Katie Bent a follow on Twitch. She's a really good voice actress and a great streamer to uh, chill out with. Until next time, peace and rock on. Oh yeah, I've got to do the bonus episode for Before the Storm. I count that, you know, part of Before the Storm's um, episode catalog. Just want to give you all the, that quick little uh, edit. Peace. Rock on.